Hey there viewers and welcome back to the Mark of Cree. It's been a while since I last played this game. Um Yeah, just do this one. It's been a while since I last played this game, mostly because two weeks ago I had a corrupted save file and that killed all motivation I had to playing this game. And then last week I had to get back to where I was, so there we go. Now, when we last left off, I had just received a bow from the old man. Old man that was right here, where's he at now? Oh, he's over there. So, now that we have a new bow, we need to actually practice with it. So let's go to training. See if we can kill a couple birds. Probably not. You will now learn to use your bow. While holding the bow, you can target enemies on the ground using the right analog stick as you do with your sword. Press the button assigned to an enemy to fire an arrow as an attack. This is okay, but it's slow. Limits your range and may require more than one shot to kill an enemy. To further your range, hit enemies up above and perhaps kill with a single arrow. But you must aim carefully. Hold down the L1 button and maneuver the directional stick to aim freely. Try it now. Okay, yes sir. When you are aiming this way, you can target an enemy or object. When targeted, an X icon will appear above the enemy or object. You would then press the X button to fire your arrow. Hold L1 and aim the directional stick to target a gong. Then press the X button to fire your arrow. When you've hit both gongs, we will continue. Try it now. Okay, yes, sir. Hey, hold on. Apparently, I wasn't paying attention. Is there another one somewhere nearby? Hold L1 and aim the directional stick to target a gong. Hey, what am I aiming for? To fire your arrow. When you've hit both gongs, we will... Oh, the gongs! Okay. Try now. I thought I was aiming for the stat... for the, uh... Scarecrows. Good enough for shooting gongs. Shooting enemies is another matter. When you target an enemy, the X icon will flash. This means you are aiming for the enemy's body and will need a few arrows to take your enemy down. Let's try shooting the body of the dummy. Hold down the L1 button. Aim for the dummy, and when the X icon flashes, fill the dummy with some arrows. Try it now. Try it now. Okay. How many arrows? Useful, but it is best to take an enemy down with one arrow when you can. To do this, target the enemy, then carefully aim up with the directional stick until the X icon is solid. When the X icon is solid, press the X button to fire your arrow. Try it now. So aim for a headshot. Your aim is true. And that is all I will teach you here today. There are spare arrows out here, so you may practice for as long as you like. Yeah, how about no? That's a waste of time. I will grab some extra arrows for my mission though. Remember, flocks of birds may be good for distracting enemies. Try disturbing a flock of birds to get the enemy's attention, then sneak up from behind for it. I do want to test one thing out, though. No, back to the job. If I have higher ground, he did mention something along the lines of further penetration, so I could be able to kill him a lot easier this way. Now, there's supposed to be a pig down there, isn't there? Maybe I already killed him once and he's not going to reappear, so never mind. For enemies wearing armor. They are a greater threat and impervious to arrows. Okay, so do not shoot the guys with armor. Unless maybe I can get a headshot off them. That probably won't work either. Alright, we'll grab a couple more arrows and then we can go off with our mission. There's the pig. They can harm you while remaining out of reach of your soul. Okay, 76 is fine. Use your bow to Here, Piggy. Or just silently tap Bam! Your mind on the oh, crap, he's best. Another shot and we'll be having that pig. You are indeed a brave warrior, Rao. You 
saved us all from that vicious pig. <laughs> now let's get back to it. Okay, enough of the talking. Time to actually find the person that will give us our next mission. Let's see here. Old guy, what about you? My boy, I had no idea you were from such noble blood. Not him. Maybe the sleeping drunk. <clears throat> no big No, I love you, Charlie. I love you. You know I love you. I, I love you too, man. Okay, what about this guy with the big old ham bone in his hand? I can't even talk to him. Okay, maybe my little sister. That creepy old man needs to stop staring at me or I'm gonna break a bottle. <laughs> a violent little girl, didn't she? Oh, here we go. Here's someone. You, boy. You are the one they call Rao. Word of your skills in combat are spreading far, young man. I am looking to hire someone such as you, someone looking for adventure, someone who does not shy away from a challenge. There is a forest north of here you may have heard of called Hayadoko. It has a reputation for being a dangerous place to pass through. People enter it, but few people at the center of this place lays an ancient tomb, hidden, undisturbed for a millennia, guarded by the forces within those woods. I have no interest in treasure, as I am a wealthy man and can pay you handsomely for your trouble. I am, however, interested in a scroll that is said to be in the tomb. This parchment has no value to the common man. It is only a record of my ancestry, written in an ancient tongue. Rao, I am an old man, trying to understand the breadth of my line. Let us say that this document will allow my family to re-establish its proper place in society. If you procure me this scroll, I will make you a very wealthy man. Okay, now that we're done talking to the Scarecrow, I guess we're now doing our mission. If I can get around these damn pillars and tables, come on, get around there. My master left early the next day and arrived at the Heiadoko Forest as the sun began to rise. Baumusu had reacted strangely to this opportunity, saying he did not trust the old man, referring to him as Dark One. He warned Rao not to aid him, as he sensed evil. But my master was young and stubborn. The old man had promised him gold, and its luster coaxed him on. I still don't trust that guy. Okay, that loading screen kind of scared me. I thought it was going to freeze on me and like screw up and crash. Because I have had that problem before. I had it last week. Okay, archery multi-shot kill. You use the right analog stick to select enemies with the bow. Press the corresponding button to automatically aim and shoot at the enemy. It may take several shots to bring down each enemy and arrows are limited. Great. I believe that's going to be our first enemy. Okay, what the hell did I just do? Okay, what's that red thing right there flashing? Health bonus, maybe? Oh, there's a lot of enemies nearby. Great, okay. Let's see. I really do not feel like using my bow right now, so let's just kill these guys the old-fashioned way. The nice blade. 
Yeah, yeah, single shot kill. Just go to the head. Alright, get our bow out. I think there's someone all the way up there, maybe. There he is. There's someone. Okay, that's too far. I'm gonna have to be a little bit closer for that guy. There we go. Headshot. Can I headshot this guy? Or is he too far? Too far. Headshot. Okay, up there, my birdie brethren. My valley friend. 